Hello students, in this video, I would like to discuss about the cause of friction. Dear students, as we know that force of friction depends on the roughness of the surfaces in contact. Now we take, we, we have to do an activity. We take four wooden tray. One is covered with the sandpaper, another with aluminium foil and third one is with the plastic sheet. Now we take a mesh box and try to put on the put on the first tray covered with sandpaper and incline the wooden tray. So when we incline the wooden tray from this side up to a level when the mesh box starts sliding. So here we see that when the mesh box starts sliding at the position then the angle of inclination is here we have to observe or this height we can observe. Now we take, repeat this activity with the help of the aluminium foil. We again repeat put here the mesh box and see that when will it slide. So when we incline the surface wooden tray so we see that up to this level of inclination of this angle the mesh box is started sliding down in figure three third which is the wooden tray is covered with plastic we repeat the same activity to observe that what is the effect of this nature of surface then we see that for this angle of inclination or this height, the mesh box starts sliding. Now you see that the height of this one is say as H1, height of this is H2 and height of this is S3. In which case the inclination is lowest for aluminium foil and for which case the inclination is most that is for sandpaper and for plastic sheet it is in between the two cases. This experiment, this activity indicates that the force of friction depends on nature of the surfaces in contact. My dear students as we know that the sandpaper is a rough surface, aluminium foil is a smooth surface. Plastic sheet is less smooth than aluminium but more smooth than the sandpaper. Therefore, here the angle of inclination is little bit more than the aluminium foil but less than the sandpaper. Now, this activity shows that the force of friction depends on the roughness of the surface. Okay? What caused the roughness? When we say that cause of friction, so what causes roughness? Roughness means the irregularities present on a surface. Suppose the we consider here a surface, but the surface is not actually like that. When we go through the micro analysis of the surface, then we observe that the surfaces are made up of the molecules and these molecules are closely bound with each other. So, when they are bound, closely bound with each other, there is the valleys and peaks. There are peaks and valleys. This is the peak point and there is valleys. So, when any obje other object is placed here, then that peak of that object covered by the valleys of this. So, there are the two surfaces in contact. This is another object and this is one surface. You see that due to this in roughness, there is interlocking. What happens? There is interlocking. Now, this interlocking only breaks when we apply some external force. When we apply external force. 
दिस एक्सटर्नल फोर्स ओवरकम दिस इंटरलॉकिंग और अनलॉक दिस इंटरलॉकिंग सो इन दिस वे हाउ मच द एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज अप्लाइड टू ब्रेक द इंटरलॉकिंग और टू अनलॉक द इंटरलॉकिंग दैट इज इक्वल टू द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो इन दिस वे द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज ड्यू टू द इंटरलॉकिंग ऑफ द इरेगुलरिटीज प्रेजेंट ऑन द सर्फेसेस इन कॉन्टैक्ट दिस इज द बेसिक कॉज ऑफ द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके नाउ द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इट इज ट्रू द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन डज नॉट डिपेंड द एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओनली डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेचर ऑफ द रफनेस और इरेगुलरिटीज we are we have one example that we when we play the carrom board so what do we do first when we play carrom board then we first we sprinkle some talcum powder why do we sprinkle some talcum powder the talcum powder fill the irregularities or the roughness and make the surface is smooth so when the surface is becomes is smoother then there is less friction while we play the carrom board the talcum powder fills the roughness that is the irregularities that these depressions present on the surface and then it becomes smoother which makes the game easy to move the coins easily by applying the force so this is an example that is showing that the force of friction depends on the smoothness or roughness of the surface where the surface is smoother then there is less force of friction where the roughness is more then there is more force of friction thank you